Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. With the construction of new routes crossing the old routes, the incremental launch method ILM is absolutely optimal. The Asanié viaduct connects the roads of the Yavu Sultan Selim Bridge with the main highway leading to new Istanbul Airport as an example. They use a temporary pier placed between the two lanes so that traffic will not be interrupted during construction. Their commitment is to reduce the impact of the site on the surrounding environment. With the use of projectiles that have been tested with deck configurations, construction speed is increased. To complete 14 spans, each 66-meter span requires two 600-ton cable jacks to launch up a slope of 0.5%. Such a launch force is high and quite unusual for this type of construction method, however necessary for 66M spans. This is a big order from the number one carrier in Germany, GmbH. It was the largest yacht of Boot Dusseldorf from NL ski down to this fair. The yacht is called Princess with dimensions of 30.56 times 6.92 times 9.37 m and weighs up to 110,000 tons. After packing and including the transportation system, the total size of the block is up to 32.00 by 6.92 by 10.37 m and weighs 190,000 tons. With a special size and height like this is definitely impossible with road traffic. So at NL Ski Down Rodan, the yacht Princess was loaded onto a 12-axle trailer complex. And the truck runs on the pontoon roll on a roll-off. Due to the height difference from the port to the buoy, a vehicle with a high Boys for transporting a complex of vehicles loaded with yachts on the inland waterway to Dusseldorf to the port. There, a ramp is built with various cranes, through which the convoy driver can drive easily from the float. When the plows used for transportation deteriorate and are likely to collapse, it is essential to repair them. Here, they are dismantling the old Rosbruck bridge and rebuilding a new one. First, they decommissioned the railway line below the bridge and proceeded to dismantle and smooth the surface. Soon after, a fleet of forklifts arrived to support the bridge after they cut off the two ends of the bridge from the elevated road surface. Then the forklifts will move the section of the bridge to be cut away from the old bridge area and the route below. After the old bridge is moved to another area, machinery enters to clear the ground and level the surface. And of course, the old bridge will be demolished. Instead, they will build a steel bridge instead. Parts of the bridge will be pre-assembled on the ground. 
Then use the giant cranes to lift it up and place the old bridge very carefully. Each part of the bridge is gradually lifted and workers screw them together to form a solid support for the bridge. After that, they will proceed to pour concrete on it. Finally, pour the plastic and install the barriers for the bridge. And it officially reopened after 9 months. Sarin's SGC120 is one of the largest cranes in the world. The installation of the armor and its commissioning is a whole project. It has a 130 meter main boom and has a lifting capacity of 3,200 tons. In terms of structure, it has a 45 meter leg circumference. Installers needed a medium sized semi chain crane to mount counterweights with 36 heavy units, 100 tons each. The ultimate aim of the project is to test its lifting capacity over 3,000 tons to carry out lifting the modules at wind farms out of the barges. With a main boom up to 130 meters, it makes lifting objects 120 meters away from the unloading position with ease. To be able to control such a long rod, it is the effort of counterweight mounting system and tough load-bearing cable system. Finally, after finishing the stitches, the height of the giant crane is up to 70 meters with compact footprint with low ground bearing pressures. The crane is fully capable of lifting 3000 ton modules for wind farms with ease and complete flexibility. These are the first steps of overhead road construction. It is the piling and casting of the foundation. Piles are driven deep into the ground at a specific location. Along with that are reinforcement cages connecting the piles together. After the bridge piers are completed, they will proceed to transport the precast concrete beams there. Casting mold is a fixed steel system. Concrete is poured into the mold and after 10 hours will be removed and brought to the location to be assembled. At the mounting site, they use a beam launcher to fix and put the beam in place. They will then be held together by steel wire coursed through the inside. In addition to the beam launching device, the support of giant cranes is indispensable. After the bridge girders are assembled, the inside will proceed to pour concrete into the steel frames. Concrete quality is continuously controlled to the final finishing stages. The steps of bridge grafting continue to take place in the same way until the bridge is completed.
In the field of road and bridge construction, beam catapults are widely used. It is heavy equipment for erecting prefabricated concrete beams on bridge piers during highway and railway bridge construction. Precast concrete beams are easily transported to and installed. The use of prefabricated beam molds with the support of beam launchers will save costs, be safe for workers and shorten construction time.